The news from the GFC, the global financial crisis, just seems to be getting gloomier. Treasurer Kevin Foley today announced that the state budget has tripped into a $1.5 billion black hole as a result of falling revenues from GST alone. I caught up with him earlier and asked him if the hole might get deeper. Who knows? I mean, quite frankly, no one knows where this uh, global financial crisis, when it will end, where it will end. Um, you know, we had an update from the Commonwealth Government. I mean, we are essentially uh, passing on the information that we get from the Commonwealth. The Commonwealth told us before Christmas our state would be down about 800 million over four years on GST. Within a matter of weeks, we're now being told that in fact the state will be down a further uh, 800 million. So um, this is revenue that we're losing as a result of consumers, mums and dads and the public, spending less money in our stores as a result of the concern and anxieties about the global financial crisis. Well, given those figures, 800 followed by another 800, effectively that's doubled in just a, a, a month or so. Absolutely. It, it is um, economic growth forecasts that uh, the Commonwealth had looked at and predicted for the nation in the back end of last year, calendar year, uh, but come the new year, come January, late January, uh, it has become evident that the global economy is crashing at a much faster rate and whilst Australia hopefully will stay um, in positive growth territory, uh, clearly economic growth is much less now than what it was predicted prior to Christmas. Well, if this is doubled, this figure is doubled, do we expect to see unemployment double in the state? Well, uh, what we do know is there will be an increase in unemployment nationwide. Um, South Australia uh, is as best placed, if not better placed, than any other state in Australia. Uh, we still have some very, very strong private sector investment coming through. We have uh, the large investment that is still on track in the mining sector. We still have billions of dollars to be spent on the new air warfare destroyers, which construction effectively beginning now, and the thousands of jobs, uh, multiple thousands of jobs involved there. So we still have some very strong positive economic uh, uh, opportunities that will be realised over the next few years in South Australia, but clearly we're not insulated from the world, uh, as is Australia not insulated from the world. What will this deficit do to the projects like the new hospital? Look, we have to keep building in this state. If we retreat from building, well, then we're going to be cancelling out what the federal government uh, wants us to do, and that is to stimulate demand. You said today that you would have to cut things to the bone. What does that mean? What I actually said today was that we are, in effect, doing that now, that the result of previous budgets, certainly of uh, my mid-year statement prior to Christmas, uh, we are cutting government uh, expenditure to the bone. There's not a lot of give left in government expenditure uh, uh, as we sit here today that I can easily get to. Uh, I've been cutting a lot of expenditure since uh, day one in this job. Um, we still have to provide public transport, schools, education and police. So this is a cyclical downturn, very sharp in nature, very, very... Uh, brutal in its impact and the sudden impact of it. But let's remember, we get through poor economic times and we'll have good economic times into the future and revenues will rebound. Now, is any of this uh, problem that we're experiencing now your fault? Well, I'm sure the uh, Liberals, uh, you know, nothing more than... Uh, they like nothing more than attacking me in particular and the government, but... Uh, I can't. Uh, you know, I'm being uh, open and honest and transparent with the people. Uh, and I think the level of understanding in our community about just what this global financial crisis and meltdown means, you know, there's a high level of awareness and understanding. This is, and all of these, are matters beyond our control. Um, we can't um, influence consumer spending uh, on, a national, uh, on a national basis. We can't uh, influence stock markets on a global basis. We can't um, affect the flow of capital on a, uh, on a global basis. So we have to basically cop what we cop and deal with it in the best way we can. So what can you do? Well, what I'm doing is that the priority of this government right at this moment is to maintain building, building and building uh, the infrastructure this state so desperately needs. New hospitals, new schools... Uh, new electrified rail system so that we can keep people employed, keep the economy ticking along, and then when we come out of it, we'll rebound into surplus. 
How many jobs will be lost then? Look, uh, I don't know. You said 1,600? Well, 1,600 stage. public service uh, voluntary separation packages will be on offer. Will there be more than that? Uh, not at this stage. I'm not, I'm not ruling it out. Uh, but uh, it's unlikely. But, you know, these are, again, difficult times and we'll just have to see what occurs over the next four months. You know, I'm a half-glass-empty sort of person. You know, I'm, I'm always a bit gloomy about this stuff. In fact, I was criticised by my opponents for sort of um, talking about this being a, you know, a potentially frightening scenario back in uh, midway through last year. Well, you know, uh, I'll let others decide whether or not that's the scenario unfolding. But, um, you know, for government, we have to make sure that we keep uh, calm, cool heads, work our way through this and make sure the state's in a good shape at the other end. So we'll have deficits for the next four years that you can see? Look, we do at this stage, but as I said, I'm a half-glass empty person. The alternate view, and it's a very, very minority view at this stage, but, you know, Obama, President Obama's package, Prime Minister Rudd's package, um, and if we, get a, you know, if we get a good break, we might actually see things start to improve mid-year. Uh, and if that occurs, uh, mid to late calendar year 09, well, then things might be in a better position. Um, look, we don't know. It, it is so uh, fragile out there. Rupert Murdoch himself on Radio Today said that this is the worst economic and financial time he has ever seen in his uh, years on this planet. So, you know, if you've got someone who's been involved in business like Mr Murdoch making those statements, no wonder South Australia is, uh, you know, getting a, uh, a dose of pain. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you, Ian.